This is an interesting, interesting interview that Jones had on the BBC on some sort of a Sunday show. And what I found most interesting was that the individual who was essentially combating wasn't actually combating conspiracy so much as combating what could have been an open possibility that Alex Jones is part of the conspiracy. And let's just try to listen to it. Now that was so important, and uh, Jones got nervous. You know, Jones basically got nervous. That basically, basically, like set the tone for what was going to happen in this interview. Because what you have is the BBC host. I mean, you literally have the host saying, "I think Jones is part of a conspiracy," and you have uh, the this guy actually saying, "You know what? I think it's I think it's the second too." I mean, he he pitched the first one, but then he said, "It I think it's the second." I mean. It's significant that he says that, but at no point do the do these people admit, okay, there are special interests that are controlling things. They took advantage of this show, this interview with Jones, that, and just to ask him this because people are starting to see a conspiracy, and um, you know they're starting to wonder about things like controlled opposition groups, and I feel bad. I don't like to discredit Jones, but they did call out things like cancer viruses and the vaccines. And one must understand, even if Jones is right, because he's right about things like that, maybe estrogen in the water supply, fluoride even in the water, it's just bad PR. They know that if you talk about that, it's such a uh, jarring, uh, cognitive, dissonant sort of thing that basically it will turn people off. And Jones's M.O., I would say, has always been that. But people have to understand that he, like I say, I think it's triple blind. He's compromised. He has to do what he has to do by, by, some, by something, by some weird thing. But he, listening to him will, through osmosis, grant the listener a, uh, a very you know, useful template for thinking. But you'll notice that Jones, in this show, right off the bat, is calling uh, the Bilderbergs top of the top, calling them, you know, basically, they have a Nazi agenda. And people that are seasoned conspiracy theorists would know that Bilderbergers, they're sort of like one percenters, not point oh one percenters. Uh, some of them are point oh one percenters. You're more likely to find these crazy point oh one percenters at the Bohemian Grove. And um, what I do want to say is, uh, is that um, basically he's also trying to make it out to be like, okay, the Nazis survived. And, you know, even he knows the idea that the Nazis were a controlled opposition group um, by the powers that be to, you know, do what they did, essentially, found Israel, populate Israel. Um, anyway, um, you know, and I'm not saying that it's. I'm. I'm. I'm actually of the idea that what we have, what's really running the world, happens to be a sort of occultic Jewish mysticism. Not necessarily even Judaism, but uh, very much looking out for the interests of Judaism. But um, but actually has a like a like an alternative occultic satanic twist on it. Anyway, well, what I'm trying to say basically right now. Because they, because it's all about bringing the Messiah and the God, you know, God back to Earth and stuff like that. Pretty psychopathic because it's not. It's very likely to be just not true. So all these efforts are basically in vain and uh, screwing up the world. Anyway, that aside, very interesting interview. Going to link this for you. But I, what I say, what I find the most interesting, is that 
right there you have the host and this other man who basically openly are, are just like I think you're part of that conspiracy let's just hear it again I, I know this is uncomfortable and I really don't like to see this Let me tell you. because there's a sense in which they need to be able to value what he's able to do in an X factor sort of way and right and it is curious um, watching them pile in behind their controlled opposition group so we do need to raise these suspicions this will inevitably occur and um, you have to you also have to be careful because as soon as Jones doesn't become useless and this is scary to him because he knows it this man is smart they will basically kill Alex Jones or disappear him or something and it'll make it look like he was legit if they in fact want him to be somewhat legit you're part of the conspiracy. No, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I uh, say the first. Five years ago when Obama and Hillary... I say the second. Five years I ago when Hillary and Obama... <laughs> I say the second. You know, you're behind it. This guy agrees. He's like, yeah, actually, I say the second too. 